Hey YouTube, Dawson Rider here with my review of the Deluxe Gamer Driver from Common Rider XA. This review is pretty late because mine got back ordered, so I had to wait for the second wave of them, so I apologize. But anyway, let's go ahead and just take a quick look. I'm setting the actual merch aside just to make note of the box as usual. Pretty typical fare. The boxes are always nice and colorful and reflective of the series theme and tone. This one's kind of interesting because it's backwards. Like usually you have all the stuff here where, you know, we got the big picture and then there's a little flap up here, but like all of the main front stuff is over here and then the back here, which is usually the front, has like the, hey, this is what it does with other merchandise. Um, here's kind of representation of what the sounds do in the show. Uh, side shot there, side shot there of level one being adorable. And on the bottom is kind of a promotional shot, so I'm just going to get that out of the way. I just always make note of the box and also thought it was interesting that it was kind of backwards. So as for what you get in this normal set, you get the driver and then the Mighty Action X Gashat. So um, you can also get a set that comes with the holder um, and lasers Gashat. Uh, so uh, I am still waiting on that for back order, so uh, that's a thing. And I didn't get the set, so obviously I don't have both of them here. But so let's go ahead and just take a look at these two things. Oh, sorry about that. So um, let's do the driver first because it literally does nothing. Um, Look-wise, it pretty much nails exactly the way it looks in the show. It's very colorful and odd. It's definitely not my favorite design overall, but it, it is very fitting for what the show is. As far as like the toy, like I said, it, it accomplishes looking like it does in the show for displaying cosplay purposes or whatever, but it does feel kind of cheap because it's just a shell. Uh, you can just, you know, yank that forwards and backwards. There's a little gamer driver symbol there. It's also on the box and it's like rather elegant looking, which is interesting. Um, this is gamer driver there and this kind of cheapish sticker. And here's the little mirror system, which is going to be used for the, the gashats. That's where the gashats go. And then, yeah, it's just a cheap shell. There's no electronics in this. It's kind of like the double driver 2.0. So yeah, um, also, of course, you always get the straps with it. Had to get them for a second, but here's the straps. It's just like, you know, you put them together. They have the little pressy things here. Uh, you can attach them here. Let's just try to do this calmly. And then, you know, you can put it on display like this, or if you're like really skinny or a child, you can wear it. But yeah, simple stuff. And then you can extend it by customizing it and all that shenanigans. I'm just going to try to get off of here now. Uh, set it aside because it's just going to get in the way, honestly. Like it's already getting in the way. You'll probably hear a thud or crackling. So I'm just going to close it up here like this because that's the way we're going to need it. So here's the Gashat, which is really where the magic happens. Um, I really like the Mighty Action X one in particular. I think the pink just kind of works and it's very fitting of it and I love the little design of um, this little guy here on the front um, and it's just, I don't know, it works. I think I like the gimmick more than I like the overall belt system, if that makes sense. But it looks cool. Um, I, I like the system. I still think they look a little bit like lollipops, but I love the concept of like the cartridges and stuff. Um, and also, I totally forgot to make, or not, I to, yeah, I totally forgot to make note of this when I did my Shakariki Sports one, but I love the little design they have here on the back, which is obviously going to be used when it shows up in the driver, but still neat. And speaking of, um, I forgot to mention in the beginning, I'm going to be using Shakariki Sports to show off its sounds in the driver uh, for like level three and stuff, um, because, you know, I didn't have a driver at the time that that came out. So let's just do a little bit of the sounds before we put it in the driver. So you press this. So it'll say the name like that with its little signature jingle. It's probably one of my favorite jingles of the bunch that we have so far even. I mean, yeah, that works. I don't need to correct myself on that. And then when you press this again, you either get a winning or a losing noise. So that's winning. There's losing. So that's what it does at its core without messing with the buttons, but since we have the driver here, I'm just going to go ahead and put it in the driver, and then uh, at the end, if I remember, I will show like the attack noises via pressing the buttons since I don't have the uh, slot thing, and if I forget anything, I apologize. But So to do the main original transformation, literally all you want to do is just slot this in the inner slot, so let's do that. So that's the level one sound. This will glow for a bit. You can see it in there. Um, I really like that sound, but there's a part of me, even though each of the gashats are unique individually with other sounds, part of me wishes that that sound was a little bit different for everybody, just to make it 
more different, I guess. But anyway, so now when we pull the lever back, we are going to get uh, the level up noise, and then I'm going to sort of pull the driver up closer because inside you'll be able to see the little uh, light animation that goes through the window here. So let's do that. So that's pretty neat. It uses like a little mirror system so that you can get that light back there. It's not an actual LED in the driver, but still it looks cool. I really, I really do. I, I like totally glitched there. I really, really good thing. No, but I really do like the way that looks and the way it works. It's kind of unique. It's probably one of my more favorite things uh, about the driver. And if you just keep doing it, it'll keep making that noise. There's no like, you know, ghost driver attack noise for continuing to do that. And to be honest, if this is all you have, that's all it does. I mean, you can, like I said, mess with the buttons, but that's like all it does is its core functions. Now, the second slot can be used for, you can put anything in there, really. I mean, any gas shot, you know, let's not get dirty here, guys. But, um, you know, for level three, like, his is uh, the robots one, which is going to be a separate review. But I have Shakariki Sports on me, I didn't get to show it off in the driver. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to close it up so that... So that'll just kind of make that noise on its own, and then when you open it up, it'll do level up, and you'll see sort of a mix of the two um, pictures that it offers and the sounds. So yeah, that's what level 3 is like. I really do appreciate like how cool, let me get to focus there, sorry about that, how cool it blends the two, of course it goes right when it focuses, it goes away. But anyway, that it blends the two like pictures together, it's just kind of a neat feature and like a, again, I think it's a unique way of doing it. So when you remove them, it'll just make a removal noise, obviously. Okay, so now let's see if I remember how to do this. So to get the attack noises, you're going to want to press both of these. Wait, wait. And then press this button back here. And press it again. Critical strike, and then... So press that, let this go, and then press it again. There we go. So that's critical finish. I always forget about the order to do that. But yeah, that's about the it, and that will be more, like, easier to do if you have the slot holder. So yeah, honestly, that's it. I think I've said that's it, like, three times. Okay, so here's the thing. I really do like the Gashats. I like gimmicks that actually have electronics in it by themselves, and you don't need to necessarily have a driver to do anything with it. And I love the whole concept of the cartridges. I think it's very satisfying when you slot it in. It makes very satisfying noises and clicking, and it makes you feel like you're putting a cartridge in, and it has that mechanical feel to it. I like the sounds, I really like the whole system of the lighting and how it uh, shows it and how it mixes the two when you do level three. I think all that stuff is neat, but this is kind of like the double driver where it's just a shell, so it leaves a lot to be desired. So it's it's honestly not as fun as I thought it would be as a driver system. Like I like having the gas shots, but honestly, if I just had the gas shots and no driver, I would kind of be okay with it. Like, you obviously get the satisfaction of making it feel more like the show, but it's kind of okay for me just to press the buttons and get the other sounds instead of spending more money just to get a shell. I mean, granted, you need this driver and then the slot holder to get this and Laser's main ones, but still. So I guess my point is, is that I really like the gimmick overall um, right now, but I think that the driver system itself leaves a lot to be desired, and it's just not quite as fun as I thought it would be. Um, I, I just kind of like stuff like the Gaim system, where you have both the gimmick and the driver having electronics working in tandem. It just makes it feel like the whole system is a lot more worth it, and it's just, yeah. Anyway, that's about it for that. Until next time, make sure you the crazy podcast at writersrangerambles.com. And of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, Dawson Ryder, signing out.